Have you ever wondered why the Panama Canal, one of the greatest marvels of engineering, is dying? This 50-mile waterway, a conduit between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The story of the Panama Canal is steeped in history. It was the early 20th century when the United States undertook this colossal challenge, transforming the landscape of Central America forever. The canal was born out of the need to create a quicker route for ships, eliminating the perilous journey around the southern tip of South America. The Panama Canal, since its inauguration in 1914, has become the backbone of global trade, a lifeline connecting the East and the West. Imagine, if you will, a bustling superhighway on water where over 14,000 ships laden with diverse goods ranging from electronics to grains traverse annually. This waterway is not just about these mammoth vessels, it's about the millions of lives that depend on the goods transported through it. The economic impact of the canal is nothing short of staggering. It contributes significantly to Panama's economy, not to mention how it's revolutionized trade routes across the world. It's not just a marvel of engineering, but a lifeline of commerce, an artery pulsating with the rhythm of global trade. Yet this marvel of human achievement is not impervious to the ravages of time and human activity. This vital artery of global commerce is under threat. As the world watches, the Panama Canal, a symbol of human triumph over nature, is slowly dying. This raises a pertinent question, one that has been echoing in the corridors of power and in the hearts of those who rely on this mighty waterway. What could be causing the Panama Canal's demise? The answer is not simple, nor is it comfortable. But it is a conversation we must have, for the sake of the canal and for the world that depends on it. However, this crucial artery of global commerce is now under threat. But what could be causing the Panama Canal's demise? The invisible enemy that is threatening the Panama Canal is none other than climate change. This global phenomenon, often underestimated, is silently reshaping the world as we know it. One of its victims is the Panama Canal, an engineering marvel that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Climate change is not a hypothetical or futuristic problem. Its effects are here and they're real. The Panama Canal, once a bustling waterway, now faces an existential threat from climate change. Changing weather patterns, driven by the global warming trend, are causing longer periods of drought. This is not a one-off event. It's a recurring problem that's getting worse each year. The Gatun Lake, the canal's primary water source, is bearing the brunt of these harsh weather conditions. This vast body of water, which once brimmed with vitality, is now struggling to maintain its levels. The droughts are so severe that they are reducing the water levels in the lake, making it difficult for ships to pass through. In 2020, the situation reached a critical point. The water levels were so low that the Panama Canal Authority had to impose unprecedented restrictions on the size of ships that could navigate the canal. This caused significant disruption to global trade, highlighting just how vital this waterway is to the world economy. So why is this happening? The answer lies in the increasing global temperature. The rise in temperature is causing the evaporation rates to increase. This, coupled with decreased rainfall, is leading to prolonged dry spells, affecting the water levels in the Gatun Lake. What we're seeing is a ripple effect. Climate change affects weather patterns, which in turn affects water levels, which then impacts global trade. It's a chain reaction. And at the end of this chain is the Panama Canal, struggling to stay operational. Clearly, climate change is a formidable adversary, but is it the only one? Climate change isn't the only culprit. The canal's infrastructure and overuse are also contributing factors. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. The Panama Canal, an impressive feat of human engineering, has been in operation for over a century now. That's right, more than 100 years of continuous service. Imagine a car running non-stop for a century, and you can begin to comprehend the wear and tear the canal's infrastructure is facing. The locks, for instance, are part of the original construction, and have seen better days. They're like the heart of the canal, controlling the flow of water that allows ships to traverse the different levels. But these hearts are getting older, and like any aging heart, they require more care and maintenance to keep beating. 
The increasing volume of traffic isn't helping either. Think of the canal as a highway. Now imagine this highway packed with vehicles bumper to bumper, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's pretty much what's happening with the Panama Canal. Ships of all sizes, carrying all sorts of cargo, are constantly passing through, and this relentless traffic is causing erosion and damage to the locks. The canal's narrow width is another concern. The larger the ships, the tighter the squeeze, and the greater the risk of accidents that could damage the canal's walls. And let's not forget, the more ships pass through, the more water is needed to operate the locks. That's a lot of pressure on an already strained water supply. It's a classic case of overuse. The Panama Canal is like a workhorse that's being pushed beyond its limits. And just like a workhorse, it's starting to show signs of fatigue, erosion, damage, wear and tear. These are all symptoms of a system that's being overworked and under-maintained. The Panama Canal is facing a multifaceted crisis. So what's being done to save it? Despite the dire circumstances, there are efforts underway to save the Panama Canal. In the face of adversity, human ingenuity often shines brightest. This holds true for the Panama Canal, as a range of measures are being taken to ensure its survival. One such initiative is the construction of water-saving basins. These basins work on a simple principle. They recycle water from the canal locks every time a ship passes through, reducing the amount of fresh water needed to operate the canal by a staggering 60%. Yet this is not a lone battle. With the advent of technology, we are harnessing the power of data to predict weather patterns. This is crucial in managing the water levels of the canal. By forecasting periods of heavy rainfall or drought, canal authorities can plan and adjust the canal's operations accordingly, ensuring its longevity. But these efforts are not without their challenges. Building water-saving basins and implementing technology comes with a hefty price tag. Moreover, these solutions require time, and time is a luxury we cannot afford as climate change accelerates. Beyond these initiatives, there's also talk of potential upgrades to the canal's infrastructure. Ideas range from widening the canal to accommodate larger ships, to introducing more efficient lock systems. These upgrades, while promising, pose their own set of challenges. They would require significant investment and careful engineering to ensure the canal's structural integrity isn't compromised. Moreover, these upgrades also raise an important question. At what cost are we willing to save the canal? Are we ready to potentially alter this marvel of human engineering forever? Or is there a limit to the sacrifices we're willing to make? The fight to save the Panama Canal is indeed a daunting one. It's a battle against time, against climate change, and against our own limitations. But it is a fight that must be won. For the Panama Canal is more than just a waterway. It is a symbol of human achievement, a testament to our ability to shape our world. And it is this very spirit of determination and resilience that will ensure its survival. The fight to save the Panama Canal is a daunting one, but it is a fight that must be won. The future of the Panama Canal hangs in the balance. As we venture into the unknown, we must contemplate the potential fallout if the Panama Canal were to become unusable. The repercussions wouldn't be confined to the edges of this 50-mile stretch of water, quite the contrary. They would echo throughout our global economy, shaking the very foundations of our established trade routes. Imagine, if you will, the bustling ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Currently, they see a steady flow of ships, transporting goods from Asia to the United States. Now, picture a future where the Panama Canal is no longer navigable. The volume of traffic at these ports would skyrocket, straining resources, causing delays and driving up costs. This ripple effect would be felt far and wide as the increased expenses trickle down to consumers. Across the globe, in the crowded harbours of Singapore and Rotterdam, the story would be much the same. The loss of the Panama Canal would necessitate longer, more expensive routes around Cape Horn or across the Arctic. Our world would become larger as our ability to traverse it efficiently diminishes. But it's not just about economics. There's a human factor to consider too. The canal employs over 10,000 people directly and supports countless more in the surrounding communities. Their livelihoods, their families, their futures are all tied to the fate of this waterway. 
The demise of the Panama Canal underscores the urgency of addressing climate change. This isn't just about one canal or one country, it's about our world, our economy, our way of life. The canary in the coal mine has started to cough, and we must heed its warning. The Panama Canal is dying, but with concerted effort and global cooperation, there's hope yet for this marvel of engineering. It's a stark reminder that the challenges we face are shared ones that our fates are intertwined. The future of the Panama Canal is uncertain, but what is certain is our collective ability to shape that future, if only we choose to act. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.